Hello, I'm Daniel, and welcome to the Imuna Project. We're continuing in our series of advice and encouragement uh, to uh, to Jews who are um, Bali Triva, returnees to Judaism, converts to Judaism, and to Noahides. And what we're going to do is we're going to review a, uh, a chapter two of Perke Avos, um, Mishnah 19, where we have um, Rabbi Elazar ben Arach say a very interesting thing. He says, know how to answer a heretic. Know what to answer a heretic. Uh, people who come up to you, who try to dissuade you from um, our connection uh, with God and our relationship with God, know how that there are answers to this. It doesn't say you have to answer the heretic. If you don't know, you know how to do it, better you should keep quiet. But know that there is uh, an answer and learn what that answer is. Unless you're very adept at this kind of stuff, especially if you're beginning, I would discourage you from getting into discussions and, and arguments with, uh, with missionaries from other religions. For example, uh, Jews for Jesus. These are highly trained people who know their shtick, they know their routine, routine uh, well, they use a lot of misleading things. I wouldn't go up against them, especially if you're learning, because, because of this. God forbid, chas v'sholem, someone should see you debating with this person, and you don't do so well, and you don't want that other person to think, oh my goodness, maybe Judaism doesn't have uh, an answer. Maybe Noahide isn't a, a proper path for people. Know how to answer a heretic. Know what to answer a heretic doesn't mean you have to answer. There's nothing wrong with saying, thank you very much, uh, but no thanks, I'm not interested, and just walking away. You don't have to take a track. You don't have to be rude. Don't be, you know, uh, don't be unmannerly. Be civil, be polite, be nice. Thanks, but no thanks. Don't get drawn into a, a conversation. Their job is to confuse you and to lead you astray. So that's uh, Rabbi Elazar ben Arach. Know how to answer a heretic. Know what to answer a heretic. Doesn't mean you have to answer, but uh, know that there is an answer. Learn what the answer is for your own benefit, for the strength of your own faith and your own uh, conviction uh, in your relationship with God. We're going to be doing more uh, Mishnahs in uh, Perke Avos. Um, I hope you find them encouraging and inspiring. Uh, and until the next time, on behalf of the Mona Project, I'm Daniel, and thank you so much.